Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Time to talk a few more topics now. First up, the founder of Black Lives at UK was one of several students who placed four banners on campus Saturday to show their experiences with racism and to call on the university to take action. The messages included the use of the N-word, saying it's been used by other students. The banners were removed by campus police within a couple of hours. School leaders have pledged to try and address the problem. And Keith, of course, this problem isn't something that goes away overnight. So I think he plans to keep putting up banners. It's certainly not the conventional way of going about things uh, on a campus like that, but ever since this Black Lives Matter movement started, the one thing they didn't want to do is let it just drift away like some of the other movements in the past. And so they've been right up front in your face, and so that's basically what he is doing here, and we, we really shouldn't be shocked by it. It does force your hand at trying to make those changes, albeit gradual, though. Uh, Georgetown College mm -hmm. has made some major adjustments for the pandemic era. The school has added 13 designated spaces for outdoor classrooms. In addition, large indoor classrooms have improved ventilation systems and most small indoor classrooms are no longer available. Students are asked to do their part by wearing a mask and quarantining or isolating if they test positive for the coronavirus. And Keith, hopefully Georgetown is enough of a small community uh, that they can keep each other safe by having these outdoor classes and large indoor classes. I mean, a lot of the, the changes we've seen them make, uh, you know, not surprising. We hope that a lot of schools are doing that. But I do love the chance to get outdoors uh, if there is an option to do that and, and to, to be out there instead of just all being cooped up in, in smaller rooms. Absolutely. And still probably better than Zooming. <laughs> uh, at least more. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yes. But more relaxing. All right. It's also the first week of in-person classes for kids in some of Kentucky's preschools on the, some of Kentucky schools on the pre-college level. Rather, the Diocese of Covington saw kids return yesterday, despite the governor's recommendation to hold off until late September. And the plan has already hit at least one snag. The principal of Bishop Rossard High School is currently self-quarantining because he's been in close contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. And Keith, you know, th these things are going to happen. We all have to get used to that notion that no matter what, someone's gonna get it. I mean, again, with kids in close proximity, that many, hopefully they're doing as much as they can, but we expect there to be some kind of an outbreak, be it small or large in these schools. And so they've taken to the forefront and want to be the first ones out there. My nephew is a part of that up north. So uh, I'm hoping he's going to be safe while he is there. UK football's recruiting success in the state of Michigan continues. Another Yahtzee, Maxwell Hairston, announced his commitment to the Cats for 2021, choosing them over Minnesota, Purdue, Kansas, and Virginia Tech, among others. The three-star cornerback is ranked by 24-7 Sports as the 38th best player in Michigan. And Keith, we know how deep Michigan high school football can be, so that's a pretty good get. Yeah, here's the thing I love is that when Coach Stoops, Coach Merrill got here, they started going up into Ohio, which is something we really hadn't seen a whole lot of, especially in the bigger cities. Then now they're going up into Michigan, which is great. They got several players right now that are from the state, which is great. And think about this, no Big Ten football in the fall. So if Kentucky can have a season, I think they're going to make even bigger inroads up in Ohio and Michigan. A hundred percent. All right, Kentucky's prized deputy director of athletics has apparently been offered a job at DePaul. We talked about Dwayne Peavy being a finalist for the AD position at the Chicago School last week. Now both sides are reportedly working on finishing that deal. Um, Keith, if, if all goes well with the deal, he's going to take this job most likely, and we will miss him, but he is built for this position. I mean, big city and a guy who can handle big time atmosphere like he did at Kentucky and the SEC, it, he's going to fit right in there and he'll be able to take care of business at DePaul. I, I would expect he can get things turned around there in a hurry. I, I wouldn't be surprised if someday he was a Power Five commissioner. No kidding. Uh, I think mm -hmm. he's that good. Yes. Uh, tonight's wrap up is next as Hey Kentucky continues.